What's going on, everybody? It's Sarah back again with another video video. Today's YouTube video, <laughs> excuse me, I'm in a completely different location. Not feeling the best. I don't know why, uh, but it is what it is, guys. Um, excuse the not flattering lighting and everything. But today's video, we're going to be talking about the FTMO challenge. And actually, you know what? Give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, back again. But yeah, as I said before, um, new video uh, today, very, very important topic. Okay, the reason for this of a topic being so important is because of the fact that I'm going to describe to you a new change in this channel. Uh, I will be taking the FMO challenge in that will come next week. It is June 2nd as I'm filming this video. So starting June 5th, I will take the FMO challenge and I'm going to take you across every single trade that I take, how I trade, the trades, the... I'm tr I'll try to film live videos as well, guys, as best as I can. I don't know if I'll be able to. I can't promise that because of the fact that I only use one laptop, guys. So between recording, actually placing trades, managing the trade, actually analyzing the charts. I mean, I'm using three different programs. We'll talk about, we'd be talking about Zoom to make the video, uh, MetaTrader 4 to use the, to actually place trades and then trading view to actually um, analyze the charts. So it might be a little bit too difficult for me to actually live record them. I'll try to do it as best as I can. But yeah, I'm going to be taking the FTMO challenge, guys, starting next week, uh, starting Monday next week. And yeah, we're just going to go through it, guys. I'm going to explain to you guys exactly why I decided to take the trade, why I mean, why I decided to take the challenge and everything. And yeah, let's get into today's video. So if you guys like this video, if you guys are excited for the series, well, I'm going to document the entire thing, guys, the entire process from actually um the first trade to passing, hopefully, inshallah, to phase one, to phase two, to getting a payout. I'm going to document the entire thing, guys. And this is something that I'm looking to do with multiple platform uh, platforms, not just FTMO. I want to pass FTMO first. I want to get the $400,000 maximum. Then I want to go to my Forex funds. I want to go to True Forex funds, the instant funding, uh, Love It Up Society, you name it, guys. I want to go to all these platforms. I want to get as much money as I can from all these platforms as I can. But <clears throat> the main reason, guys, why I think platforms are amazing is, they, I mean, it's no secret, guys, that, you know, they give you a lot of money, right, guys? What is the trading? You can get 10000 25000 <clears throat> all the way up to 200000 And FTMO actually allows you to merge multiple different, um, it allows you to merge multiple different accounts together. So if you even if you have, oh, a two hundred thousand dollar account, right? You can get another two hundred thousand dollar account and get four hundred thousand dollars, right? So you can get up to four hundred thousand dollars of capital to trade with us. Can you name any other um way you can do that? No, you can't. You can't get along, guys. A lot of you guys watching this video do not have four hundred thousand dollars to just trade with. And honestly, guys, a lot of you guys are probably not in the United States or Europe, right? Guys, you are probably in a lot of other countries, such as India, such as maybe um the philippines right such as thailand right a lot of these currencies where you know even if you're trading with ten thousand dollars guys that's a lot of money in your own currency right so it provides you and not like everybody across the world with an opportunity to access capital that they would most likely never have ability to access in their entire life like i don't come from rich parents guys so if i ask my parents for a hundred thousand dollars guys to um you know trade with uh they'd like look at me like i'm crazy i mean my parents don't even make a hundred thousand dollars in a year right and a majority of people don't. So yeah, uh, this opportunity is amazing, guys. And I think it's fantastic. And I think now is the perfect time to do it for me, at least for a variety of reasons, guys. One of these being the um the restrictions, right? So as you guys can see, right, FTMO, the challenge has two different phases. There's step one and there's step two. Step one, you have to make 10% in 30 days. And you cannot lose 5% a day and you can't lose 10% of the overall account. Step two or phase two is the same exact thing as step one, except for the fact that you get double the amount of time and you only have to make 5%. So you get double the amount of time and half the profit target. So it's a lot easier to do to complete phase two than it is to complete phase one. Now, the reason why I say this is a lot of times, right? As you guys know, like the more competition in the market, guys, the easier it is, the more, sorry, the more competition it is in the market, the more competitive firms become. When FTMO first started, guys, when I first started going into trading, they offered a 70% profit split and that's it. Now, guys, guess what? It's 30 days trading period, right? And you have an 80% profit split. You get up to 14 days that you can offer as extension and you only have four minimum trading days. All these rules are changed, guys. You only used to have 30 days, right? Now they're offering a 14 day extension as well. You have to minimally trade four days, uh, 10 days. Now they're doing four trades, right? They used to give you a 70% profit split. Now it's 80%. And they used to only allow you 300,000. Now they're allowing you 400,000. And they'll scale you up to like 2 million plus or something like that, right? And also scale you up to a 90% profit split. So. FTMO is paving the way for all these other platforms as well and challenging them to just step up their game. So now trading has just become a lot easier, right? Because trading has become a lot 
or creating passing platform challenges are becoming easier because you know you have other platforms that are making even better things, right? Other platforms are allowing higher profit splits, allowing to you to take as much time as you need, right? Allowing you to get reset, all these other things, like extension, all these things, right? So I think platforms are the easiest that they've ever been to pass. And because of that, guys, I think it's super important that we should take advantage of these. Now, I just showcase this to you to give you guys a little bit of a, a brief showcase as to you know the restrictions, the requirements, and how much it costs, 540 euros. I think that's about 500 bucks, guys. But yeah, one of the other reasons, guys, I want to take advantage of this is because, well, there's two more reasons, right? So one of them is because of the fact that platforms are the easiest to, the, to pass that they've ever been. The second is because I think I'm finally ready. I've been talking about creating the FTMO challenge, guys, for almost a year now. I think it's been 10 months on the dot potentially even 11 months or it might not actually been a year. I have to scroll back and figure it out. But I've been thinking about taking the FTMO challenge for a year now. And for a variety of reasons, guys, I've had to switch the strategy I've used and I've had to do a bunch of things with creating. And that's mainly because of life changes that have happened that are uncontrollable to me. Had it been up to me, guys, I would have just been trading the same exact strategy that I always use or that I used a year ago. And I probably would have had funded accounts already. But it is what it is, guys. I can't necessarily change anything about that. Uh, I went through life. It is what it is. And yeah, now I have to change. Now I've been switching strategies a decent amount, guys, but now I'm finally comfortable enough with a strategy to use it, to trade with it over the long run. And I do believe now that I can finally actually pass this challenge, inshallah. Though. Um, the FTMO challenge phase one requires 10% in a month. Thankfully, alhamdulillah, guys, the last two weeks of trading, guys, I made 10%. And that was using a lower risk to ratio. Um, I plan to use a high risk to ratio. I was using a one to 1.5 risk to ratio. If I use a one to three risk to ratio, which I plan on doing, and I've been testing out, uh, I would have made like 14%, something like that, like 15%. But the entire month of May, guys, I absolutely killed it. Like, I killed it. I made like 12% this month, much less. And if I used a one to three risk to go ratio, like I was planning on doing, I would have made 22%, which is 10% more, right? So I do plan on, I have been testing and I do plan on using a higher risk to ratio. So I don't think passing will be an issue as long as I'm psychologically disciplined. And as you guys can tell, or as you guys can um, tell from my videos at least, I am a lot more psychologically disciplined than I was a year ago. If you guys haven't been following me for that long, I have been trading every single day. I've been staying consistent. I've been staying disciplined. And I truly, truly, guys, just feel the most disciplined and locked into my trading I have in a very, you know, actually in my entire trading career. That's coming up on four years of trading, right? So I feel very disciplined. I feel very in tune with trading. And I think that passing will be a lot easier because I'm so psychologically disciplined. Now, the very third thing and the final reason I'm thinking about taking the challenge is because, guys, that the platforms, guys, are not going to be here forever, right? Now, I don't want to rush you guys. If you're not ready to take a platform challenge, I don't recommend you guys take it. But platforms are not going to be here forever, guys. The statistics have been released, and I'll make a video on this later, but the platforms, the most amount of money that they make is not from actually copying traders. Yes, there is that incentive, right, to find a trader that makes a lot of money, find a trader that's good at trading, copy their trades, you know, give them $100,000, copy their trades, take a profit spread, and make money. But a majority of the traders uh, are failing, right? I'm like You guys need to understand this. A majority of traders do not know what they're doing. So they get a profit from account, and they lose it. They pay, and they don't even pass phase one. That's why the um, that's why there is a monetary incentive that uh, the, there is a monetary restriction that all these problems have. You have to pay $100. You have to pay $500. You have to pay $1,000 for these challenges. And they keep that if you fail. And there's a reason for it because a lot of traders will fail. So a lot of the money that these platforms make are not from funding traders and getting profit splits, but it's from the actual challenge, right? It's from traders failing the challenge. And so it technically kind of, guys, is a pyramid scheme, right? They're banking on the fact that a lot of traders will fail. Now, because of the fact that they bank on this, guys, chances are that they're going to stay, right? Because there will always be more people that are failures when it comes to trading and are overconfident, take a profit insurance and fail allowing the profits to keep that $1,000, that $500, whatever it might be that the trader paid, then in comparison to the amount of people that are actually be successful, right guys? But I will say this much, guys. Um, I will say that uh, some firms have gone under doing this model, right? Some firms have gone under because of the fact that they bank on the fact that, you know, uh, traders will fail. And guess what? Traders don't end up failing. And because of the fact that they don't end up failing, well, they're not making as much money. They can't afford to pay out their traders, right? They're not paying out their traders by copying their trades and profits, splitting the profit. They're paying out their traders by taking the money from those that fail the challenges. So because of this, guys, again, some firms have already failed using this model. So FTMO, as big as it might be, guys, nothing is too big to fail. So it might fail. My Forex funds might fail. 
there was a huge, I forgot the name, guys, but there was a huge prop firm. It was the top three prop firms, right? It was FTMO, my folks funded, and this firm. I forgot it was called. But that was a massive prop firm, guys, and it failed using this exact same model. So, you know, if your money is in these prop firms, or you're banking on the fact that these prop firms are going to be here forever, that's just not the case. It's not realistic, guys. So, you know, I want to get this money from prop firms. I want to take advantage of the situation and transfer that money over into other businesses, inshallah, and also my own trading personal account. So I can just trade personally as well. Uh, with a lot more money than I previously had access to. But this is, this is why I'm taking the FTML challenge, guys, starting Monday. Inshallah, guys, I'm going to document the entire thing. Every single trade I take, I'm still going to make post three videos. So I don't know how I'm going to do it, really. I don't know if all three videos throughout the week is, are going to be just based off the FTML challenge. I don't know if I'm just going to do one video a week. And I don't know if I'm going to make a video like Monday. Uh, or like uh, I'm gonna make two videos of the FTMO challenge, and then I'll do like one educational video in the beginning, uh, sorry, in the middle of the week or at the end of the week. Just you know, talk about some educational content or trading psychology or risk management, whatever it might be that you guys might need. Um, I still have to figure out the scheduling, guys, but I will try my hardest to document all the trades. I will document this entire journey, guys, and I'll try to my hardest to document these trades live that I take, so you guys can tell you say or and see me actually taking my trades live, see me actually doing the analysis that I do. And not just think I'm like some scammer, right? But my hopefully do plan on taking this entire challenge, guys, starting Monday, inshallah. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to pass it. I'm going to get my platforms funded. And I'm, I'm going to get more platforms. And I'm just going to get seven figures from funding, guys. Hopefully, uh, the goal is to get, uh, the goal is to max out FTMO by the end of this year. That's my goal, inshallah. So we'll see what ends up happening, guys. But that is the goal. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video, guys. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're interested and excited for this new series that is going to come up. That being said, guys, peace out.